Welcome Cancer to your April 2021 love reading. If you are new to my channel, welcome to Charlie Tarot and feel free to subscribe. So how we do things here is we're gonna use this deck to pull some energies, do some tarot, and then do some lovers of oracles. And at the end of the reading, we're going to uh, pull these hidden truths from your person. So let's see what we have for Cancer. We have the Three of Rings, the Moon, and the Nine of Swords in reverse. The Three of Rings is the Three of Pentacles. All right, now just keep in mind, this reading may not resonate with every single one of you, so please take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind. By the way, I am gonna start doing pick a card readings um, <laughs> probably once a month. So hopefully you guys enjoy those. All right, let's see. We have the Four of Wands, the Page of Pentacles, the Two of Cups, and the Tower. Okay, so we have the Page of Pentacles and the Page of Swords in reverse. And the Two of Cups is in the challenge. We have the Eight of Cups, and it looks like something must have happened between you and your partner with this tower moment, but you're looking really good here, okay? And we have the Moon again. All right. Knight of Wands is the outcome. Ten of Cups and the Page of Cups. And your truth is being revealed to you, Cancer. Cancer. Something is up and I know you know, <laughs> okay? Because this is the moon twice here. This is the moon coming up. This is hidden truth, things that are happening behind the scenes. Things that you could be feeling and like knowing it's coming or something's up. We do have the three of rings, which really means teamwork and collaborating and working together and growing with each other and taking the next, next steps. And it feels like somebody could have been all talk and no action with this page of swords energy. It's like you either found out that they're very dishonest or you're feeling like they're being dishonest, okay? Now this could have happened in the past, present, or something you're coming out of because I feel like this whole point is that is of your happiness, the 10 of cups energy. Now I do feel for you there's somebody coming in, possible a water sign, now, or there's somebody that's carrying this energy. We do have the four of wands, so it's like you're walking away of any situations that don't serve you here, okay? Now, I do feel if you were with somebody, they acted like they were committed. They were about, they were again, that all talk, no action. And the challenge is this two of cups energy, which is showing me that there's some separation here. Now, the two of cups is a soulmate connection. This is an emotional bond. This is like friendships. This is like strong connection here. So it does feel like there is a separation at this time due to some top but tower moment, due to something that was very unexpected that was happening behind the scenes. Now, this is something that is going to be revealed to you regardless because you're already feeling it, it's here. So this is for a Cancer who knows that, hey, something's up or something is going on and I feel it, okay? I need to get to the bottom of this situation because it looks like a tower moment is here that is very unexpected. That could be some type of painful endings that you had or having or coming out of because somebody walked away here and I feel like this Queen of Swords energy is you. And this Queen of Swords is, you know, male or female, is someone that does not take any BS. This is someone who is very strong, who cuts to the truth, only wants truth and honesty, only wants what they deserve. So they're going to, they're gonna be very blunt. This is a queen who's been understanding though. This is someone who like, just thinking logic about the situation. You're listening to your intuition, but then you're looking at it like, okay, this person is clearly hiding something or hid something. So I feel like you had to cut somebody off with this Queen of Swords or you might be cutting somebody off. It could be a little bit hard to walk away at one point, but because of the towers here, so it was something that was very hard, right? This was something that was very unexpected, very painful and a big change. But what comes out of this tower is this 10 of cups energy which you which is coming in or already came in this could be you're manifesting um this 10 of cups 
energy and someone's going to come in with that higher vibration that you're carrying, okay? Because the Ten of Cups is the happily ever after card. This is joy, abundance, family. And the Page of Cups is, again, something very unexpected coming in um, and a message or someone new. So this is like somebody in the past that, you know, really, really hurt you or something you're coming out of to where in the outcome, you find out who they really were. So for some of you, they could have came off as this like coming off as a page of pentacles saying they're, you know, determined and willing to work at things and they want to take things to the next, next level. They really like you. They care and all these things, but their actions were the knight of swans energy. Okay. And that's what brought in this moon that something, and now it's like your intuition was knocking on your door. Like, Hey, they're not like, something's not right. What they're saying is not matching up to their actions. Like they were wearing a false mask and they were carrying this Knight of Wands energy. You could have dealt with an Aries Leo Sagittarius, but this Knight of Wands is a uh, very inconsistent. This is someone you cannot take seriously. There is no long term within the situation. You don't, there's no really future with the Knight of Wands because they come in and out. They don't know what they want. They'll leave you in limbo. Okay. This is someone who is not even whole within themselves to so even be whole with a person. I feel that though, that some, this is the challenge is this two of cups, but the overall energies here is the 10 of cups and the page of cups. So I feel like something is coming in for you very strongly. And I feel that you are manifesting a 10 of cups energy to either be, um, on, Another water sign could be coming in. Cancer Scorpio Pisces has the same, you know, match of emotions and wants as you do. Okay, so you're getting the whole package and I feel like for the cancer that I'm connecting with is manifesting this and that's what you're gonna get. Cause you're not going to, you only want what you deserve with this queen of swords energy. And you're gonna walk away from anything that treats you like this knight of wands. Okay? So you're seeing clearly what you want now in a relationship or in a situation. I want to bring out the lover's oracles and see what's coming in for you guys. Oh, first card. We have freedom. Yeah, so you must have broke away from the situation and now the path is clear for you as it says. There is nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be and I feel like that's where you're going. You're walking away, you're going towards your Ten of Cups and then all of a sudden, as you're focusing on you and doing you and coming out and healing from situations and having this higher level of awareness, this comes in unexpectedly at this Ten of Cups energy. Okay, so it's in the cards for you. All right, so we have freedom. Close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. Yeah. I always look at this card as like my sun card because it's like, even though things could be hard and a bit dark, it's like the sun is still shining through for you in the end, okay, or during these times. Emotions are a natural and necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clear clearly, you must let go of resentment. Let's talking about healing. Look at you, manifesting miracles. Yes, and that's where I feel like this Ten of Cups is coming in. Your dream is soon to become reality. Trust to your heart and continue to follow its guidance. Yes, it's telling you to trust your intuition also, okay? Because you have the moon twice. This is huge. This is somebody, a Cancer, who has a very strong intuition. Because um, by you trusting that and plus having this higher level of awareness, you're going to attract this Ten of Cups. You're going to know from the good and from the bad, okay? Um, I'm loving your energy here. I'm loving it. Let's see what this person has to say. Now, this could be a past person, present um, or again, something you're coming out of or someone that got away. Let's see. I want you. Yeah. So either way. Okay. See, this is where mm, this Knight of Wands and the outcome. If you're resonating with this and the outcome, it, you're knowing this is going to be the outcome of the situation was this, this Knight of Wands energy, someone that's going to keep you in limbo. Um, they're always going to want you. Okay. They're always going to want you, but it's like 
do you want to keep continuing to take that chance um, with this person, knowing that they're consistently keeping you in limbo, all right? And plus the moon's here, so something's about to be revealed or has been revealed, or there could have been numerous tower moments within this situation. Um, but I feel like you're you're knowing that that's not what you want anymore, okay? Now tarot can change any time, so nothing is set in stone, but this is the cards that needed to present themselves for you for April. But we do have this, I mean, it says freedom, your path is clear. Which I feel like you guys, like for the Cancers I'm connecting with, are wanting something new here. Or possibly already with somebody who makes them very happy. I want to tell you how I feel. I lost myself for a little while. Alright, so I usually don't say this in readings, but this person could be coming back if that's the type of person you're dealing with. So many things remind me of you. Yeah. So again, you could be like getting a lot of messages from the person or maybe this was in the past and how they acted and that's what you came out of is this type of energy. It's just like someone who calls you and randomly says things and then gets with you and then leaves again or, or just starts, you know, disappearing out of your life and you're over here with the, like, okay, what's going on? That limbo is like the worst feeling, but I feel like you are coming out of this or have already and then now you're just seeing who this person is okay because a big awakening is happening and your intuition is so strong cancer all right guys i'm gonna go ahead and leave it here for you guys i love your rating you have amazing things coming in okay now if you are in this situation presently i would just watch out for this energy of this knight of wands um because it's in the outcome and if this does resonate please like comment and subscribe god bless